I was drawn to this church because of the individuals, the youth, the diversity. There's just something in his sermons or somebody else who he gets up here to speak who challenges me, you know, individually and, 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 and in such a personal way to grow spiritually. And so I've been challenged so much spiritually and that's what keeps bringing me back. And then, I mean, with everything else, there's just so many ministries. It wasn't a typical SDA church. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, every program they planned was very intentional. The random times that I would come to this church, because my mom first attended this church, um, even though I was still resistant towards it, people were still extremely welcoming. And it wasn't about me becoming a member of the church, it was more about them just wanting to get to know me genuinely. And so I really appreciated that. And then after actually getting baptized and becoming a member of this church, you know, the pastors really do invest in growing um, everyone, not just the young people, but also the older people that want to be leaders and just grow as a person. So I really enjoy that they invest their time in that. And one of the things that I enjoy the most about these ministries is that, you know, you're giving back to youth that are looking up to you. You know, so it's like, even though I'm growing in the church, I want to, I want, you know, people that are younger than me to grow as well and enjoy their times here in the ministries that this church offers. I actually invited a friend who is Muslim to church and she's come a couple of times and I think she had an idea before she came here that everybody would kind of look the same and one of the things that stuck out to her immediately when she came is just how diverse we were and she that immediately took some stress off, off of her that she didn't look different that she kind of blended in with everybody else and so it made her feel extremely warm and it made her experience here so much better it's not just again like not a division between the old and the young the black and the white no like we all come together and we can learn about different things from everybody so that if it wasn't for our diversity we would not get that we have a couple that's basically our accountability parents for our yes. relationship and they have been so amazing um, they give us so much advice before we got married while we're married no probably while we have kids when we get, <laughs> when we get kids so and there's other people that look out for us every week. If they don't see me with my wife, they say, where's my wife? Where, where's Jackie? And you should be sitting with her. And they give me you know, a lot of other advices. And it's pretty good they look out for you, even though you know, you're not their biological kid. Um, they look out for you at the church family. It's coming from Jacksonville, like by myself, I didn't know anybody. When I first came here, you know, I met, their names are Dwight and Serena. Um, our accountability parents and they just accepted me like their second child and it was just amazing to see that from them and from other parents as well like the collegiate family that we were telling you about uh, like just being able to come to their home like I didn't get that much of coming to someone's house every once a week or you know once a month but it was very nice to have them open up their house, to open up their place for us to come by and eat and just fellowship with them. They have provided godly counsel in my courtship because I'm courting somebody right now. And when he comes to visit, he stays at their house. And I've done laundry at their house. They've, I've had breakfast, I've cooked at their house. I've done everything at their house. And for four years, they took me to church religiously every single week. And just like their own child, they encouraged me to invite my friends from church over to their house. And they did that on many, many occasions. They would, they would order a box of pizza and we, would, and we would have movie night. And our friends would be at their house till 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. So I mean, we have a number of people at this church that open up their homes. And I mean, they're just great, but I, I know some a few other people who do that and are reaching out to the youth in that way as well. So I really appreciate that about Miami Temple. I think it's important to just get to know somebody on a personal level, you know, just come welcome them, say hi to them and, you know, don't just forget about them after that, you know, follow up with them. Um, sometimes it's, it's good to ask like, hey, like, are you looking for something here? Can we help you? You know, because obviously if somebody comes here, they're looking for something. 
and I think it's important to find out what that something is because that's what attracts people when you show a genuine, genuine concern about what their needs are. You have the existing leaders, the adults, that have been leaders for years and all of a sudden now you have these young bucks that are coming and, and, and now they feel threatened because now what am I going to do? And they don't understand that they have an opportunity to mentor these young young leaders that they, 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 we're not throwing them away I had my time to lead now it's the opportunity for these young young Millennials to come in and bring new blood new ideas new ways of, of reaching a generation that's not in our church there's a lot of ideas maybe prejudices just the history of Millennials have with um, with religion or with connecting just their their whole concept of spirituality in some cases is different than what's been in the past so helping them to get an understanding of what it means to some of the things that we consider basic uh, building blocks of Christianity what does it mean to be a disciple what does it mean to grow how do you grow um, basically helping them to understand that uh, that that spiritual growth takes time it's a process it's something that's not normal to us when you give responsibility to young people they're not gonna they're not going to let you down are they going are, are they going to mistake make mistakes yes they're going to make mistakes we have made mistakes but it's it's trusting them and when you trust them they are going to do everything to try to honor you because you trust it and they're going to honor god